Okay, so in the last video, we talked about what Norma needed as far as uh, the fuel system goes. Carburetor needs rebuilt for sure. Fuel tank is uh, not bad, but it leaves a constant drip. So making sure that this doesn't catch on fire um, right now is a priority. But in this video, we're going to talk about a very simple uh, poor man's part clean, parts cleaner. Um, by the way, this, that ice cream is absolutely fantastic. But you just buy some, I, I prefer odorless mineral spirits, um, this container, and uh, soak the carburetor in it probably for about a day, and then I'll go through the, uh, the disassembly. But for now, we'll get it soaking. And also, the vacuum lines are absolutely horrible, <laughs> what's left of them. And uh, it's inexpensive, it's cheap, so I was on board with it. So we're gonna replace the vacuum line as well. And we also have our favorite coffee cup. What could possibly go wrong? Let's jump into it. Okay, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just stick the carburetor in there. Then uh, pour your mineral spirits. Easy. Try not to make a mess because this stuff, even though it says it's odorless, um, does carry a little bit of odor. I generally, I'll fill it about halfway, and then uh, you can use a toothbrush or uh, pretty much any kind of uh, stiff bristled brush, clean the junk and stuff off of it. Um, once you get I generally clean the outside first, and then uh, once I can see what I'm looking at, get the numbers off of it, order the uh, rebuild kit, and then get into taking it apart and doing the uh, base, the important part of cleaning it. So uh, we're going to let that set for about a day, do some scrubbing on it. While that's soaking, we're going to get into uh, replacing some vacuum line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to re replace the vacuum lines from the Vacuum Advance. From whatever this is, I have no idea what that is. But this runs around and it tees off and runs all the way over to the uh, charcoal can. This little section here went to the front side of the carburetor, so I have enough to replace all of that because it's... Uh, well, you can see it's even been painted on, and it's it just it's bad. <laughs> Okay, so this section that's coming across all the way over to here to the can. Um, I think, let's see, where is it at? Somebody snipped this off. So I'm just going to take it off all the way to there. That might have been the vent for the gas tank. I have no idea. If anybody out there has any type of, I don't know, diagrams or pictures, uh, let me know in the comment section. All 
All right. So, you're going to be really tempted to try and save stuff like this, and it goes right in that trash can. I'm telling you, it, it's cheap as hose is, um, and again, I'm no expert. I wouldn't mess with that because you end up making a, a certain type of vocabulary when things don't go your way and it's just not worth the headache. So from here, runs across to this T, back to whatever that thing is, and then we replace the piece coming off the vacuum advance. There's a small section here that runs from here to the uh, carburetor. I'm going to have to make a back trip back to the... Uh, Napa to pick up the uh, rebuild kit for the carburetor, which should be ready tomorrow. And that's when I'll get the last little piece of the uh, vacuum line. So everything's coming along, should be finished up with this in a couple days when I get to breaking down the carburetor. Um, so when I get to uh, breaking down the carburetor, I'll uh, add that little clip in, but uh, that's where we're at today. I got to pick up another little piece of the uh, vacuum line for the, the little T piece. Then I got to pick up the uh, rebuild kit for the carburetor. When I start the carburetor, we'll continue filming. Until then, stay sharp, keep a tight shot group, and rock on.